Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gay with KB Trainings. Welcome to the lab number eight, the two, that's five. This is for our CCNA 200 301 training. And today I'm going to spend some time with you in the Cisco Catalyst Center, or formerly known as Cisco DNA Center. Cisco doesn't require us to go this deep, but me personally, I always like to go a little beyond so that instead of just knowing or hearing about an SDN controller, we are going to spend some time inside an SDN controller and I'm going to show you what it looks like. We just talked about SDN and um, all the overlay, underlay, northbound, southbound APIs and everything. So I want to spend with you uh, some time inside this tool and it's completely free. I'm going to show you how to access it. So for this lab, I'm going to present you, first of all, Cisco dCloud. dCloud is a free tool that Cisco makes available online for us, for students, for anybody who wants to explore uh, Cisco technology. I love it. It's really good. You're going to see uh, what you can do with it. So Cisco dCloud is where we're going to spend our time and Cisco Catalyst Center is the actual SDN controller that we are going to uh, to discover. And then I'm going to do a quick walkthrough or a demo of the whole tool. And uh, by the end of it, I just want you to be familiar with it just to see what it looks like, to see the kind of options you have there. And I also encourage you to go on your own to spend some time in there, I'm going to show you with Cisco dCloud, when you launch an instance, you have two hours to play with it. So during those two hours, you can, you know, explore everything you want, but at least you have an idea. In some of the next lessons in this training, when we will talk about um, APIs, REST APIs and everything, I am going to show you how you can connect to Cisco DNA Center or Cisco Catalyst Center with REST API, how you can pull or push uh, data or many kind of configurations to that tool and all of that will be free and covered here. Hey, quickly, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is part of the Cisco CCNA training on kbtrainings.com. I go from zero to engineer. I teach you everything you need to know to take and pass the CCNA exam. Even if you are not studying for the CCNA exam, you just want to build your knowledge in networking, security, cloud, virtualization, automation, and everything. The CCNA is the reference when it comes to certification and tech field. So I'm here to help you to be your coach and bring you from where you are to the engineer level of knowledge. And all of that is happening on en.kbtrench.com, en.kbtrench.com. Make sure you go check it out. Thank you. So before going into the Cisco dCloud, let's uh, learn a little bit about Cisco dCloud. First of all, Cisco dCloud is a cloud-based platform uh, provided by Cisco for anybody that wants to experience a wide range of Cisco products. So you have products that are available to you if you are interested in knowing what the dashboard looks like, playing with it a little bit, Cisco dCloud is made for that, more for demo environment. It's offering a free way to test and learn about different Cisco technologies by building and, and experimenting with virtual labs in the cloud. So it's cloud-based. We'll use dCloud to explore uh, Catalyst Center in this uh, training or in this lab here. And the next thing we want to talk about Cisco Catalyst Center before jumping into it, Cisco Catalyst Center, formerly known as DNA Center, is a centralized SDN controller uh, that simplifies network management and automation for enterprise environment. And notice here that we are talking about enterprise environment because it's fairly or mainly geared toward um, campuses. We have other SDN controllers like Cisco ACI that is geared toward data center environment. So here we're talking about campuses. It provides real-time monitoring, configuration, and troubleshooting, integrating seamlessly with catalyst switches and wireless controllers. Of course, you can also add uh, routers and switches to the Cisco DNA centers or routers and firewalls. In the SDN framework, Catalyst Center uses northbound APIs to interact with applications and southbound APIs, um, APIs to manage devices. It supports intent-based networking, enabling automation, scalability, and consistent policy enforcement. Again, we are going to go deeper into APIs and everything around it, including data encoding with JSON everything in our next chapter. So here we just want to spend some time with the Cisco DNA Center. So let's go ahead and jump right into um, Cisco dCloud. I am going to show you how to access Cisco dCloud. So if you go in your browser, you need to go to dcloud.cisco.com. This is the web address that we need to access. And once you go in there, you're going to land on this page. And of course, 
I am already logged in in my case. If you are not logged in, you need to create an account with Cisco.com. It's completely free as well. So that same account or so the same credentials can also be used here in Cisco D Cloud because they um, all those different platforms use the same authentication uh, service. So I'm here as KB Trainings. Um, so what I need to do, look at uh, at this corner here, you have the different menus or different options. Um, I like this because right here, you can pick a data center. You can change a data center. Like in my case, I was in RTP. I think this is uh, Raleigh. I'm not sure. But I can go to US West. This is a different data center. And these are, okay, these are the catalogs or the services that I can run from that data center. Uh, let me go to the full screen here. So you can see that uh, under catalog, I see all of this. If I go under my hub, it's going to show you, or my hub and history, it's going to show you all the different instances that I had to launch in the past. Um, and the catalog is the list of all of them. And if I change data center, let's say if I go back to US East and go into my hub, you can see that I have different uh, different history. I even I literally have no history in this data center here. So uh, it also depends on the data center that you pick. So when we go to US West, where I've been playing the most, this is the list of all the different services and platforms that we can explore in uh, Cisco D Cloud. And what I need or what I'm interested in today is the Cisco Catalyst Center right here. Or if you don't see it right away, you can go under the the search. Let me close this. You can go under search and do um, Catalyst. You will see it uh, coming up. Yep, it's right there. So what I want to do is click on it. It's giving us some more details, the things that we need to know and or we will need. Like here, we have the credentials, very important because we will need to log in to our dashboard when we have access to it. So we, we're gonna use demo for username and demo 1234 exclamation mark for the password. So this is everything that uh, we need to know about this environment. And when I'm ready to launch it, I'm going to hit view right here. As you're going, you're going to see, it's going to launch a new environment for us. One thing I wanna mention is that some of these, um, some of these platforms in the catalog are not available instantaneously. Some of them you need to reserve. Some of them you actually need to um, fill out a form and then it's gonna go to a um, Cisco sales team and somebody will reach out to you. So depending on what you're looking for, you may not have instant demo, but you need to select, make sure you select instant demo over here so that you can see what you have access to uh, instantaneously. So let's go back here. So now we are in our Cisco DNA Center or Catalyst Center login uh, dashboard. Let me go with the login here. Uh, username is demo and password is demo one, two, three, exclamation mark. And I can log into it. I don't want to save this. Let's give it a moment to log in. Did it refuse? Demo one, two, three, four. There's a four here, I think. All right. So we are logging into Cisco Catalyst Center. And as you can see right here, it clearly says that Cisco uh, DNA Center is becoming Catalyst Center. So this is what I mentioned. And here in this first page, we can see the state of our network. You can see um, in a nutshell what our network looks like. We can have information about the health of our network. And we can see right here that we are 85% um, healthy. And we have our wireless controllers or wireless clients are 44% healthy and so on. Um, what I like about this is that look at here. We have 52 sites that we are managing with this SDN controller. And this is a good example of centralized management. I can be a single person, a single engineer. I have access to a dashboard like this. I can manage 52 sites with 79 um, network devices. This is what SDN is about. This is what centralized management is about. We have uh, application QoS uh, policies. We can scroll down here to take a look at uh, AI endpoint analytics, network profiles, licenses, and everything. This is just the main page that you get when you log in. 
but you also have more options when you go in the menu here and again the goal with this lab is just for you to be a little bit familiar in terms of at least know what it looks like know what you can do with it so i would encourage you again to spend your time going through all these different options and see what you you can find there because this is literally what uh, cisco catalyst center administrators are seeing in production in real life so let's go on to design we have a network hierarchy that will show us the map of the world we have different sites we have different um regions around the world i can go on the site here uh, let's see if i can zoom in you can see that we have uh, this is the global map but you can go deep into asia you can go in europe you can go everywhere so let's go in india and select the our site in bangalore uh when i click on it it's going to specifically zoom in on bangalore and i can click to see what i have inside here i can edit the building i can delete the building i can view devices let's view what we have inside here uh we only have an access point you can see here unified access point um, I can filter the result that I'm seeing depending on what I want to see. I can take a look at the topology uh, topology view of the site or go back to the map again. And I can go down here to cancel that filter and go back to Asia. This is just uh, full Asia. We only have one site there. Uh, let's see what we can do. I can go back to global or go to the US, North America, um, North Carolina, Alberta, California, we're going to switch to California. Okay, where is it? Oh, you didn't go automatically, but uh, we are now looking at California. And I have 27 devices in California. I can go back to the list view. It's going to see me uh, to show me the 27 devices that we have there. You can even see that we have a Palo Alto firewall. So we support third party devices as well. Uh, but right now, MAC address is not available. I can go back here and um, and go to the global view to see everything. So that was the network hierarchy. Uh, we can go under design again and do network settings. This is where you have all the different settings for your servers. You have a AAA, uh, AAA settings, device credentials, all the credentials you're gonna use to get into your devices, IP address pools, wireless, telemetry, uh, security and trust. That's good. So we can go under network profiles, image repository, CLI template. This is also um, one of the good things about um, automation and centralization of your management. You can have your different sites or different devices grouped into templates where you attach different devices that need to look alike or have the same configurations. This is where we can see uh, the different CLI templates that you can have inside um, the Cisco DNS Center. And if I double click on this one, this is a base uh, base configuration. Apparently, there was nothing in here. Uh, I think you also have different types of templates. You can do Jinja and all kind of stuff. Let's see, device family, category, uh, and everything. Uh, can we create a new one here? So yeah, let's do create new template. And you can give it a name. All right, so you can do uh, the language that you want to use inside. Is it Jinja? Is it uh, Velocity? So all of this is available to you. And then you pick the iOS or the version of the software that you have in your device or firmware, and it's going to uh, create one for you. As you can see here, um, let's go down to policy. This is where you create a different policies, provisioning. This is where you have your inventory of devices. All the devices that we have in a network, 79 of them. You can look at routers only, switches only, wireless controllers, access points, sensors, all kinds of devices can be supported here. Uh, plug and play, LAN automation, zero, uh, zero trust overview. Um, this will talk about uh, SD access or software defined access, uh, mostly uh, talking about how you can secure the access to your network with tools like uh, Cisco ICE and so on. Um, yeah, this is everything you can see from this dashboard. Um, again, I just encourage you to go here, spend some time, just look what is out there. And if you see somebody that is going deeper with you in Cisco Catalyst Center, this is where you can come and do your practice of all the different options that you have available. That was inside workflow, I think. 
And then you have the tools, discovery, topology, license manager, and all kind of stuff. All right, so again, we're going to go back uh, to get back to this uh, Cisco Catalyst Center again when we'll be talking about um, REST APIs. And I'm going to show you how you can come here or how you can, from a Postman application, launch uh, API calls to the Catalyst Center and the kind of responses you're going to receive. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you are on YouTube, make sure you like the video, you subscribe. I go, I go live on Sundays. Make sure you follow me there. If you have any questions, you can come live and ask your question. I'll be glad to respond. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Guy. Follow me at Gibisuku and KB Trainings on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. Bye.